Hello, my name is Linda Dorkey. I'm a demonstrator with Stampin' Up! here in Australia. And today I was inspired by this cute mug to create a cool card using the same colours and a similar design. So stick around and see how I did it. So today's card is a really simple one. I was inspired though by this mug. <laughs> I received this as a gift. Uh, last weekend I did a fundraiser. Uh, for a local church. Um, we were raising money for a school in Africa and um, this is the mug they gave me to say thank you for being part of that. I wasn't the only one, there was a few of us working on it together. But I loved this design and I thought I'd like to re recreate it in a card. Now it's not the same as you can see, it's quite different. I've used totally different shaped flowers but I was inspired by the colours and like the general layout. It's like a, to me it's like a corner so I did it at the top and on the back around here it's the bottom so I've done down here as well. So I'm going to keep this on the table. I'm just sort of uh, the stamp set that I'm using is called Painted Seasons and this is currently in our Celebration offering, uh, the second release. So if you've already seen Celebration but you haven't seen this stamp set yet, that's because they just released it in mid-February and it will be available until the end of March and it comes as a bundle with uh, coordinating paper, DSP, so it's quite beautiful. But the stamp set is a distinctive set which means we have that beautiful light and dark uh, tones when you stamp it. So I'm just going to keep my mug here so you can see that. Let me let me pop it. I'll pop that here so you kind of can see, making sure that you can kind of see the design. And I've actually used shimmery white paper for this. You can't use, um, this is just a one layer card, so it's just a piece of cardstock folded in half. Um, you can't use Whisper White cardstock, it's too thin. Um, you could use Whisper White thick, but I particularly like the shimmer on the shimmery white paper. I think that's really lovely. So I'm going to bring that in and I'll just move this over a little and fold this in half. Actually, I'll go the other way, fold that in half. So one layer cards are kind of tricky. Um, you kind of need to do something a little special with designs on one layer cards because there is nothing else apart from the stamping. Um, so it is very, very simple. Um, and the stamps I'm using from this set is this flower here, as you can see. This one here, which is actually more like a succulent. If you do it in colors, it looks like a flower, but if you do it in green, it definitely looks like a succulent. And that's it there. Um, the detail is very, very beautiful. And I've also used this leaf, which is here. They're, that's the only three stamps I've used. So I'm starting with the colours I thought it looked like on the cup. Highland Heather is uh, close to the purple. Balmy Blue, they're both from the Subtles. Night of Navy for a bit of depth and uh, dark. And also Berry Burst, which is a current in colour that will be finishing up this May, May 2019. So I'm going to start with the Berry Burst. And I'm going to use that for my big round flower. And I'm going to stamp it kind of a little bit off the page. I want it to kind of go over the edges. And then that will do for the one at the top. Then I'm going to go to my purple and use my other, my other piece. Just like that. And maybe down... Uh, actually, I might come back. To, I'm going to stamp that off. I could also use my chamois just to clean that off. And I'm going to come back into the pink. But I want to stamp the pink off, the berry burst off, so it's going to be a lighter colour. So, just like that. But so you can see it's a little bit lighter than the other one. And then I'm also going to use the blue, the balmy blue. Um, there was no green in this, so the leaves are actually green and purple. So the Highland Heather and the balmy blue. So let's just pop a couple of leaves here. And now you can have this going down towards the bottom. And I'm actually going to have... I'm just going to grab a little piece of paper and I'd like this one to be a bit shorter but I don't want it like to mask it off a little bit. I don't want it to go over on the stem to go over onto the flowers so I'm just going to have that going down there like that. And maybe just a little bit more of the blue here in the corner. Okay, 
Now you could just leave it like that and it's quite pretty. Um, but what I wanted to do is make it look a little bit more watercolored like my um, like the cup. And the reason that I didn't I, I use the shimmery white paper is I find shimmery white paper handles a bit of water quite well. So I've got an aqua painter here. Uh, these are fabulous things. See, they come in a pack of two and you get uh, there's a medium and a fine tipped brush in each one and they just unscrew here in the middle and you fill them up from the tap. Okay, so really, really uh, portable way of carrying brushes around with you. You could, of course, just use a, a brush as well, but I find these are great because I can control how much water I can give it a squeeze if I need more water to run through, or I can, um, I'm not squeezing water through really at the moment. Now I'm gonna start with the, um, with the pink one, the, the Berry Burst. And as you can see, the color immediately starts to run and I kind of went almost to the edges I wanted to not go quite to the edges because I kind of like the look of and as you can see I'm being quite rough with it I'm not being particularly precise all right and then in the middle here I'm just going to kind of run over that and then I wanted a little bit of darker color in the middle so I've squeezed my Night of Navy ink pad together and that's put some lid. When I squeezed it, some of the colour went onto the lid. And I'm just going to pick up a little bit of that and see how much I've got. Yep. And just kind of get a little bit of that navy going in the middle there. All right. Now when I run my aqua painter off, I do that until there's no colour left because then I can pick up a different colour. So now if I want to go over into the lighter pink one, and I, this one... Um, the um because the, the paint the ink there's not as much ink it's not going to sort of bleed quite as much once again i'm going almost to the edges i want the edges to be a little bit more sharp and i'm just going over the whole thing how easy is this right super easy now i'm going to do the same thing with the purple one and i found the purple does not bleed nearly as much as the the berry so the highland heather is a much more um seems to be quite solid when you add water to it it doesn't seem to move nearly as much a little bit it'll blend a little all right and just like that and I'm going to do the same thing now with the the leaves so as you can see I'm not being particularly precise I'm just going over the whole thing how easy huh super super easy all right just like that now I'm actually going to go back into my, up to you if you don't have to do this, but if you wanted to put a little bit more depth in the middle, you could grab a little bit of the navy. Make sure you've got just a small amount of it. That's not really enough. Let me get a bit more. And I just want to have a little bit of darkness in the middle of my. Just in the middle of those flowers. Okay. And then I would do exactly the same thing at the bottom. So you can see how easy this is to do. Okay, so once again, I'm just going to go over the edges. And you guys have the, the fun of watching me do it. pretty much it. The only thing I did at the end was from this set, the Butterfly Gullis, that I used the Hello Beautiful and I stamped that in the middle of my card with the Night of Navy ink here at the end. So bringing my card back in, that's what I did. And as you can see, it looks nearly the same and quite similar to the mug. So the colours are similar even though the actual um, design itself, like the flowers, don't look the same. but. I like the way it kind of was inspired by the mug, but came up with an entirely different idea. I hope you like it too. Um, keep checking back and don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you can see more when I put up more videos. Thanks guys, have a great day. Bye.